good evening. Am I on? All right. Happy Star Wars Day. We are performing no Star Wars tonight. Anybody here last year? Yes. All right. Last year we had Darth Vader was gracing our presence, and we did a few Star Wars selections. So I apparently wasn't looking a year in advance to plan that this year. So we have a great program for you this night. Um, we have some fantastic solos that you're going to hear here in a few minutes, and then the Twin Rivers Choir Kids, I think you'll really enjoy a little bit later on as well. We're going to start our program this evening with the uh, salute to Richard Rogers, and this is Richard Rogers and Rogers and Hammerstein, who were monumental in kind of developing the golden age of the American musical in the early 1900s. Uh, Richard Rogers was the composer, Oscar Hammerstein wrote the lyrics. So this is music that Richard Rogers wrote. And he wrote music to shows like The Sound of Music and Carousel in Oklahoma that you're going to hear in our performance here momentarily. Um, Richard Rogers wrote 43 musicals, over 900 songs were attributed to him. He was the first person to win an Emmy, a Grammy, an Oscar, and a Tony Award. There have been others since then, such as like Elton John is one of those people. And he also won a Pulitzer Prize and the cherry on top of all that. So a significant contributor to music, to musical theater, and to American culture. So we hope you enjoy our first selection.
Raise your hand if you recognize the two years two in there. Um, one thing I mentioned in our earlier performance today is one thing I like about this concert is we get to rent some of the original music from the Broadway shows from the Disney people. And this next piece is one of them. This year, Welcome from Moana. And we get the music directly from the Disney people. And so it's, it's the music that the professionals recorded in studio for the movie, which I think is pretty fun um, as musicians to be able to do. And then to be able to perform it. And I'd like to ask to welcome up for our first soloist, Mr. Ben Plyfield.
these constructs six the musical, which is a newer musical. Um, it was recently in Sacramento just this past, I don't know, this past year. Uh, and they go see six down in Sacramento, a handful of people. So six is the story of the six wives of Henry the Eighth. And if you remember the story, and there's this little uh, English rhyme that children use to help them remember what happened to those six wives. The divorce is the first one, beheaded the second one, died the third one, divorced, beheaded, and then the sixth one survives. So this one, uh, the, the musical is, has those six characters are the musical, and then they have four band members that are also all female that are up on the stage performing with them. And each of the six wives are competing against each other as to who had the worst life as wife of Henry B. And so they all have their own solos that they sing, telling about how awful their life was with Henry B. And they take turns in competing, and you'll have to see the show to see how it ends. Um, but there's some really fun songs in it, and some really beautiful songs in it as well. This is one of the beautiful ones, it's called Heart of Stone, and it's sung by the Jane Seymour character, who um, was the third wife, and she died after giving birth to her son, and King Henry's son, so she, um, in this song, she sings about her love for Henry, even though sometimes that love wasn't always reciprocated. She also sings about her, um, her hopes for her son, even though she won't get to see her son grow up. Um, so it's, it's a very emotional song, and it's really beautifully sung by Cassie. So let's welcome out Cassie Hart.
Church Charter School Choirs and their director, Mr. Jim and Kelly.
Well, as I said, this is the TRCS combined choirs. We have the middle school choir, which is going to raise your hand. And then we're going to have the fifth grade members of the choir. Fourth fifth grade, raise your hand. Very good. And uh, as we said, Momoja is an African term for together. It's a great theme song. If you want to go far, go alone. If you want what you do to have meaning, then do it together. And that's a big part of what we do at school, uh, teaching what we call Learn for Life, which is a segue into our next song, which is our school theme song, written by our middle school principal, Mr. Roby Lett, who is at the piano on the
All right, we have one final piece that's going to be a little fun. This is the complete Harry Potter, but excerpts. I mean, the complete Harry Potter is very long. We're just doing the John Williams portion of the Harry Potter themes. Um, as the movies progressed, they had other composers writing other uh, movie scores for the other later Harry Potter movies. So this is the John Williams excerpts from the complete Harry Potter. And we have some fun video clips uh, that are going to be playing while we...